You may have seen this video that recently went viral. This video was made by Viggle AI. This week there was a ton of AI news that I think you won't want to miss. From cloned voices posing a threat to bank security, to the AI detecting breast cancer better than doctors. I've chosen topics that might be more important and interesting to you. And I'll break down the Viggle AI for you at the end of the video. Show you how to make your own one with Viggle AI. Just like clips you saw. And before that, I want to share with you the biggest announcement of the week, which Meta just announced the Llama 3. Along with that, some other amazing AI advancement that I don't think you'll want to miss. And, and it is transforming the AI world completely. Let's dive in. If you totally don't know what Llama is, Llama is a cutting edge AI language model developed by Meta. It's designed to understand and generate human-like text, and it is a powerful tool for a variety of applications, and it seems to be free to use. That's a big advantage for creators and anyone who wants to try AI without spending money. Llama 1 was the initial version, and then Llama 2 came. Llama 3 comes in two flavors, 8B pre-trained version and 70B pre-trained version. They also announced that a 400B pre-trained version is on the way. Here you see that it outperforms some existing models, almost with the same amount of parameters. One of the best things about Llama 3 is that it gives you real-time information or searches the web when you ask a question. You can access it through Hugging Chat, which you see here. You can select the model and go with it. It is not the only way you can access it. Meta.ai is Meta's new user interface that allows you to access it. One of the cool features of Llama is image generation. Images are generated in real time as you write prompts, and they change as you add or modify instructions. Not only that, but it also animates the pictures and TikTok, the short video giant, is also delving into AI. TikTok might introduce an AI voice cloning feature. The TikTok team is working on a cool new feature using AI. It lets users make videos with a computer version of their own voice, adding a personal touch. TikTok's AI voice cloning works like this. Users record a phrase, and in just 10 seconds, AI creates a synthetic voice that sounds like them. This voice can then be used to read text and videos, letting creators add narration without speaking themselves. Users have control over their AI voice data, and they can delete it anytime. This new feature gives creators a powerful way to make their content more interesting and expressive. There's no official word on when this feature will be available to everyone. But when it does, it'll open up new ways for people to be creative on TikTok, whether it's for education, comedy, or just adding a personal touch. Next up, YouTube's new AI feature. Now responds to your video queries. Google's trying out a new thing on YouTube. Some US subscribers of YouTube Premium can now chat with an AI assistant while watching videos. Not all videos have this feature yet. Google's slowly adding it. If a video has it, you'll see an Ask button below the video. You click that button to type a question or pick from some options for quick info. To use the AI Assistant, you gotta agree to Google's terms for AI stuff. Early tests show the AI's quick and accurate response, making videos more fun to watch. But it's just a test for now, and it'll end on May 1st. Google wants to see if people like it before making it permanent. Google's also being clear about AI. YouTube creators have to say if their content is AI made. And Google's putting labels on videos about serious stuff like politics or health, showing if AI was involved. Stepping into the next news, Anthropic just dropped a major update for Claude, their AI superstar. They're calling it Claude 3 Opus, and it's now up and running on Amazon's Bedrock service. So. What's the big deal with Claude 3 Opus? Well, it's all about boosting accuracy. Amazon says it's like doubling the brain power of Claude when it comes to tricky new and open-ended questions. This upgrade is a game changer for enterprise developers who rely on Amazon for their AI needs. Amazon is a big investor in Anthropic, having poured a whopping $2.75 billion into the company recently, bringing their total investment to $4 billion. Claude 3 Opus has been making waves since its release in March. It's all about quality, fewer mistakes, better visuals, and top-notch performance. Anthropic even claims it's almost as smart as a human when it comes to tackling tough tasks. As I mentioned earlier in the video, cloned voice tech is coming for bank accounts. In lots of banks, they use your voice as your password. It's supposed to be super secure because computers can't just copy those voice quirks on the spot. But guess what? They totally can. OpenAI recently introduced a voice generator model in late March. This model can take just a 15-second audio snippet and make it sound like the person who spoke it. OpenAI talked about all the good things this could do, like helping with instant translation, speech therapy, and reading support. But downside, 
that it could mess up the whole authentication thing, making it easier for scammers to trick their way in. Plus, it might make scams like pretending a child's in trouble or faking romance even more convincing. In one case in 2021, cyber criminals stole $35 million by cloning a company CEO's voice in the UAE. The technology has only gotten better since then, and criminals continue to use it in similar ways. Not too long ago, a group of fraudsters used deep fake technology to swindle $26 million from a Hong Kong-based multinational company. The OpenAI voice engine isn't out for everyone to use yet, but there are already a bunch of other products doing similar stuff. Some security experts showed how easy it is to break into banks with Voice ID logins using AI-generated voice cloning services, and some other security experts are trying hard to stop these attacks. Training staff to spot fake audio is crucial, but it's tough since there aren't tools to detect AI-based attacks yet. But OpenAI thinks banks should stop using voice-based authentication. And there's some hot news about Adobe. They're working on a new tool that uses AI to make videos from text. They're buying videos from photographers and artists to train this AI model. They'll use these videos along with their collection of images and videos they already have. What's cool is that Adobe is paying about $2.62 for every minute of these videos. They're offering up to $1.120 to artists for their videos. They're looking for videos of people doing everyday stuff, like walking or showing emotions like joy or anger. This could mean that Adobe wants to teach their AI about how people move and express themselves. They also introduced something called Music Gen AI Control earlier this year, an AI music generation tool which is still under development. Adobe is not just stopping at their own model. They are also exploring the integration of third-party generative AI models from OpenAI, the Sora, Pika Labs, and Runway directly into Premiere Pro. This will allow users to leverage the strengths of different models within the powerful workflows they use every day, providing a range of new capabilities without having to leave Premiere Pro. And Microsoft isn't falling behind. They've announced Vasa One, which can make lifelike talking faces from just one picture. In a recent white paper, Microsoft introduced a new AI model that produces a talking head that looks and sounds realistic and is generated by only uploading a still photograph and a voice sample. The new model is named Vasa One, and it requires only one portrait style picture and an audio file of voice and fuses them together to make a short video of a talking head with facial expressions, lip syncing, and head movement. The produced head can even sing song, and that in the voice uploaded at the time of creation. According to Microsoft, the new AI model is still in the research phase, and there are still no plans to release it to the general public, and only Microsoft researchers have access to it. However, the company shared quite a few samples of the demonstrations, which show stunning realism and lip movements that seem to be too lifelike. Snap also just dropped some news. They're adding watermarks to images made with their AI tools. So, what does that mean? Well, when you save or export an image, you'll see a little ghost with a sparkle icon. This way, everyone will know the awesome pic you shared came straight from your creative mind or with a little AI help. AI-powered tools are transforming various aspects of healthcare, from early diagnosis to treatment and patient care. An AI tool named MAI or Mammography Intelligent Assessment is designed to analyze standard mammograms for breast cancer screen. It is the first product developed by a UK company, Chiron Medical, to receive the CE mark for deep learning software in radiology. There have been numerous cases where MIA has helped find cancer early. Like a woman might get a mammogram that a doctor thinks looks okay, but MIA sees something suspicious, so the doctor checks more and finds breast cancer. This shows how AI can find cancers that might be missed otherwise. While AI won't replace doctors, it can be a powerful tool to assist them in diagnosis, treatment planning, and overall patient care. As AI technology continues to evolve, we can expect even more groundbreaking advancements that will revolutionize the healthcare industry and improve patient outcomes. As I promised you in the start that I will break down the Viggle in the end of the video. So now it is the turn for Viggle AI. Viggle AI is an exciting video generation tool powered by JST-1 the first video 3D foundation model with actual physics understanding. Viggle AI is currently in beta. To access this AI tool, click here, and you will be redirected to the Discord server. Like other AI video generators, this tool is also available on Discord. On the left side, you can see we have some servers, so you can select any one of them. The clips you saw in the beginning of this video 
turning anybody into an alien or a monster or whatever thing you want. So for that, you have to follow a few steps. First of all, you have to select your source video. So in my case, this is going to be my source video. And in the next step, we have to remove the subject from this video. And for that, we're going to use Runway. But don't worry about that. It's not going to cost you anything. We can try a few things for free. So on the left side, you can see we have the edit videos option. Simply click on that. And now we have all of the video tools that Runway ML is offering. We have to select the in painting option. Now just upload your source video. In my case, I already uploaded my video. So I'm going to simply drag and drop here. After some processing, it's ready to use. And now simply paint your main subject. Once you are done, this will start doing the ink painting. Okay, so after a few seconds, the main subject has been removed from this video. If I play this video, you can see our character has been removed. Once you're done, click on the export button. And to find your file, click on go to export. And here you can see all of your exported files. Now just download your file and we are done. Now in the next step, we have to create a similar character. For that, just open your source video and take a screenshot of a still frame where you think that the character is fully visible. Once done, go to LensGo AI. Well, this is also a free tool. And from here, select the Create Image option. Now in the prompt box, just upload your screenshot that I have taken from the video. This image will be used as a reference image. In the prompt section, you can type whatever you want to create. In my case, this will be a robot with a formal suit and hit create. These are the output images. You can select any one of them. So I would like to go with this one and hit the download button. Now the next step is to capture the motion. And for that, we're going to get back to wiggle AI and type forward slash mix. Now in the image section, we have to upload our image that we have just created. And in the video section, you have to upload your main original source video. And this is very crazy because just look at the movement and motion, how accurate it actually is. Now we are almost done. Simply download your video. And the next step is just to combine these videos together. For that, you can use any of your favorite video editors. In my case, I'm using CapCut because not only is it free, but it's also available on all devices like Android, iOS, and desktop, making it very easy and convenient. I'll just import your in-painted file and your bigger AI file. So I have already imported both of them. Not just import your in-painted file in the timeline first, and just drag your green screen video on the top of our in-painted video. Now just select your green screen video and click on the cutout and select the chroma key. Then select this color picker tool and select the green color from the video. Now just move this strength slider and adjust this accordingly where you feel it looks perfect. So I think it looks good here. And now if I play this video, you can see our character has been replaced with the character. I know there are a few issues with this one, but this is just to give you the idea of how this thing works. Right now, the Wiggle AI tool is totally free to use. This is in beta, and I don't know how long this will be free because this kind of technology can't be free. So make sure to test this AI, and that's it from this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video and gained some new knowledge about AI. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video so you don't miss out on our future content. If you're interested in starting your content creation journey, check out the suggested video that we've tailored just for you.